Oh hi, it's me again, Charlie, and I've decided to finally make my comeback today, May 12th, Mother's Day, with a Fallout 4 build. For the past few months, I've spent a lot of time playing Fallout 76. <gasps> I know, right? Shocking. But I've decided to get back into playing Fallout 4 because I missed the story and just want to give it another try. So I'm starting a new playthrough and want to try roleplay because... Well, honestly, that's the easiest way for me to stay interested in a game. Get into the character, actually feel what's going on. Shit's dope. So I came up with this idea. Basically, I'm using no mods. That's right, no mods. And only have the DLCs and Creation Club content to use. This build will be made freshly out of Vault 111, so the only items I'm going to be using are from Vault 111, on the path to Sanctuary, and in Sanctuary itself. That's it. Nothing else. Now, before we actually get to the building, let me set the scene for you. Picture it. <laughs> Sicily, 1912. Just kidding. Now anyway, the year is 2287. You've just emerged from the cold, sad confines of Vault 111. Your spouse is dead, your child is missing, you probably honestly don't care, and now you have this hideous wasteland around you, and you think to yourself, well shit, now what? Now obviously what you do next is up to you, but let's say you decide to pick yourself up from your vault suit straps, kick it into high gear, and decide to start making a life for yourself in the wasteland. You make your way down from the vault entrance, back towards Sanctuary, where you begin to put your life back together. Slowly. Very, very slowly. I mean, you're not in any hurry, right? There's no major story to follow, or someone you need to find, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Alright, so you've decided to build your home here, at Sanctuary, but your old home is basically a shithole that is full of bad memories you're trying to repress, so you decide to instead scrap everything, including everything in the town, and build yourself a nice new home. And that is what we'll be making today, a starter home in Sanctuary. So to find a good place to build our home, we decided on a couple of necessary things. Number one, it needs to be near water, so you always have somewhere to get a drink, wash your nasty clothes, or do whatever. Number two, it needs to be close to a source of food, because food is good. Number three, it needs to be a relatively secure area, right? And finally, number four, you want it to be close to your old home because nostalgia, I guess, I don't know. So that leaves us this nice little spot right in the backyard of your old home. You spent time scrapping everything, save for some trees and fencing, and your stockpile of supplies is all filled up. Sick! You're finally ready, and it's time to get building. So with this build, I knew that I wanted to make a uh, little entryway on the back side of the house where this fence used to be, but it was a big spot in the hedge. So I went ahead and placed down this junk fence, this junk door, and then started building the, f the flooring around it. And I have a very specific way that I'm doing this because I actually tried to do this beforehand just to make sure it would work. So I placed down these, uh, the the foundation, I guess, on the side first, and then tried to place this wall on the side as kind of like an uh, overlook, but it wouldn't work because it clips with the hedge, I think, or the fence, I don't know. So I gave up on that. But then I decided to put down these uh, two pieces that go over top of the floor, uh, and then had to remove that because to put the doorway on, you have to put it down first and then kind of line the other foundation up. Um, if you're an idiot like me, it takes forever and they have to keep redoing it and redoing it because you forgot that you can't put the railing on if it's too close. <laughs> um, but yeah, once I get that down, uh, I try to move into doing the stairs and I screw that up and have to like replace the stairs in a little bit, uh, which is not surprising. But one thing about the floors is that I have these floors that have uh, different textures on them, like the diner tile and carpet, thanks to one of the workshop or the cre creation, creation club. Yeah, creation club packs. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the uh, probably the Slocum's Joe and the home decor ones. Again, I don't really totally know. But I ended up giving up on the uh, uh, the little balcony there and then put them on the front instead and decided to make that end piece, since it's just basic flooring, a second... Um, I guess that would be actually a balcony, but it doesn't extend. Whatever. Uh, so, and then just do the same thing, just scoot that back on over because luckily physics don't apply in this game and it still attaches even though it, it doesn't technically. Uh, but then I decided to add these little overhangs in the front 
so that you know, just kind of over or like look out uh, over the area below and just make sure that no one's creeping in or trying to see or anything. And I haven't built in Fallout 4 number one in a very long time, but number two without any mods. And I didn't realize until I was kind of messing around that it, there are actually support beams uh, with the, I think the Far Harbor and the, not contraptions, but the other one, Wasteland something or other. The one that adds the barn and the uh, warehouse. I think barn's from Far Harbor. But um, you can't really like at attach them to anything except stairs, I think, from what I was just messing around with. So I just kind of free placed them around. Um, and again, I'm not using any mods for this, like literally no mods, no cheat terminal, no place anywhere, no scrap anything, nothing, just straight up pure vanilla with the DLCs and the Creation Club stuff. Uh, so this is where I screwed up the stairs and then decided to say screw it and just <laughs> put that basic one down. Um, I wanted to try to use different items I don't usually use, which is why I had the, that other stair, but eh, it's stairs, you know, who cares? So then I basically just, the rest of it is just filling in the gaps. You know, I put a roof on, um, fill this in. I did want to put a roof on this part, which I do, uh, but you can't use the support beams for it, which is super annoying. So instead I decided to take off the back side where the railings were and instead place down a wall. Um, and I used the wall that's basically not even really a full wall. It's got so many holes in it that it's like pointless to have. <laughs> Uh, to kind of give it the illusion of still being like pretty open, but still, you know, working. And then that's basically it. I went ahead and cut out all of the decor, the decorating and everything as usual. And we will jump right in and see how it looks. Alright, so there we go. A little starter shack and sanctuary, fresh out of the vault. No mods, only DLC and the Creation Club content. And I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty good indeed. What I really like about this build is the fact that I, uh, number one, didn't use any mods, and number two, only used stuff from Vault 111 right outside Sanctuary and just stuff from Sanctuary itself. So, you know, if you're starting a new game, you could do something just like this. 
as long as you have the DLC and the creation clip stuff, of course. So yeah, um, I'm happy to be back making videos again. I'm not going to have any set schedule or anything. I'm just going to make them whenever I feel like it. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed this, and I can't wait to make more stuff in the future. Until then, hope you have a good one.